Yo, what's good, YouTube, and God bless. It's your boy, Sick, and I am back for another Dragon Ball Sparking Zero DP class tier list video for you today. And this is going to talk about all the best level 5 characters when it comes to DP in the game. And this is what I believe to be the best DP class characters when it comes to level 5. So you got Super Trunks, Super Broly, GT Goku, Zamatsu, and Android 16. And these are the characters I feel like are at the top of the level 5 DP tier list. Now, there are some honorable mentions like any version of Goku, base Goku, right? Not that's level 5. This Goku, not so much, but he's still good because he has a unblockable ultimate and he has a full power charge that could get him to sparking but more so this goku and goku because of instant transmission and wild sense and he has an unblockable ultimate as well and super goku because he has an instant transmission and he has a instant sparking um ability with a unblockable ultimate as well with the ability to get stronger with his transformations same thing with and goku he has the ability to get stronger with the transformations so these are some honorable mentions and they're good picks as well um super version of vegeta is okay as well but he does take more damage and does less damage than other characters so i wouldn't put him up there exactly there's other level five characters that are better but he's also a solid pick as well. Besides that, this is who I feel are the top characters of the game. And we're going to go over the reasons why. So hopefully you're able to enjoy the video. And if you do enjoy the video and learn something new, please smash the like button. I greatly appreciate it. Also, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I have another DP tier list video of the level 7 characters that I did. Make sure to check that video out if you haven't. And yeah, let's get started with the video. So we're starting off with the super version of Trunks and the super version of Trunks to me is if not the best DP5 level character, he's definitely at one of the top, top three, something like that. And here are the reasons why. So he has a good key blast. It's pretty quick. Is it better than average? He don't shoot a lot of them though, but it's pretty good. His advancing key blast is whatever though he don't shoot that many his retreating blue blast you his retreating key blast he only shoots one his charge key blast though is pretty good because it's unblockable and i'm gonna showcase that charge key blast is unblockable so that's pretty pretty good so you could play the distance and you see your opponent doing something. You could just charge it up. This is his jumping key blast. It's kind of whatever. His moving charge key blast is pretty quick. All right, so moving on from there. His abilities, he has a solar flare. You already know what solar flare does. It blinds the opponent. And from there, you could charge up your attack if they choose to run away you could charge up the key and do whatever you want from there and the reason why that's really really good with the solar flare because if you charge up the key he has a three bar unblockable so this is z trunks ultimate attack but super trunks has this as a regular move a regular super and it's unblockable and it's really really good and it's quick it's probably like one of the quickest supers in the game is very very hard to time advantage so abuse it because it's unblockable so whenever you have the chance abuse it because the opponent is very very hard for your opponent to, uh, to get out the way it is also he has a wild another thing i would like to add is that trunks lightning sword slash since it's so fast to me it's like it has no travel speed at all it's pretty much instant right so if you're in this range right here this mid-range area even from here right you're gonna see and watch
like instant there's like almost no travel speed as you can see like it's very hard for your opponent to move out the way let's even try it from back here It's a little bit travel speed when we're this far away, but it's still pretty fast. So this is why this move is really, 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 really good. It's unblockable. When you're in this range, it's pretty much instant. This range is still pretty fast. It takes for you even look for it, look at it from all the way back here. And let's see how long it takes for the cutscene to pop up for it to hit the opponent. takes a little bit longer now when you're this far range you can easily probably get out the way of it but when you're this close it's like game over you're not dodging it you just have to finish out the way so again this is a very good move abuse it and this is all the reasons why i feel like trunks is a top pick for the level 5 dp class if not top one he's definitely in the top five So moving on, we're going to talk about the reasons why I feel like Super Version of Broly is a top level 5 DP pick, right? So we're going to start off with some of the basic stuff. So he does the same damage to Trunks. You would think he does more damage, but he does the same. So at the end of the day, that's pretty, that's pretty standard damage for a level 5 DP character. That's average. Um... His chain attacks is pretty good. He has a gut punch. One punch into the key blast is a gut punch. Two is a rolling hammer. Key blast attack. And another gut punch. So that's pretty, pretty good. He has a grab. The grab is on the slow side. But I believe, I'm not too sure. But if you charge these type of grabs, it's either you gain some type of armor or it can't be broken. I'm not too sure. It's either one of the two. I think it could it could get clash or broke or like that, but maybe it got some type of armor armor on it. I'm not too sure. I have to test that out. His side step attack is pretty good. It's a gut punch. He he covers a lot of range as well. So that's pretty pretty good uh covers a good amount of range on the sweep same thing with the lift cover good range so that's pretty good broly also has a gut punch as a perception which is really really good pretty good key blast to harass the opponent he sends two at a time, so he press it twice, he's gonna send three, so it's pretty good. His advancing key blast is really, really good. It really locks the opponent down. His going away though, retreating key blast is all right. His jumping key blast, pretty good. Charge key blast is all right, nothing too crazy. Moving charge is a little bit better. Jumping charge. His charge in the air. His charge key blast is kind of like, eh, it's kind of whatever. Uh, the main reason, though, that you will use this version of Broly is because of his meter gain and his abilities, right? So he has going berserk, which gives you instant sparking, and the activation is pretty fast. It's like one of the faster activations with the instant sparking abilities so that's really really good also has the ability to get stronger because of transformations and this is why all of this ties into why this version of broly is really really good because he has he starts over two bars a meter right he's able in this base form to get four skill counts all together right now he has a move that called full power charge that gives him a full 
key bar, as you can see. So he has a unblockable super, which is a rush attack. And he chases after you. He hits you with this. And the opponent, after this super is over, is put into a hard knockdown state. Right in front of the opponent, right? So with this version of Broly, you could you could easily make comebacks by doing stuff like this. So after the super's over, you're gonna pop the full power charge and go directly into another another super. And it's gonna force the opponent to vanish out the way. If they don't vanish out the way, they will get hit. And if you got another full uh, two bars to pop it again, you can pop it again and go, well, not that. You could do that, but not that. But yeah, if you have another two bars, you can pop this again and go directly into another gigantic crash. Or you could do something like this. transform and then off his transformation he gains the meter back again full meter again and you go directly into his super and look at the damage this is what makes Broly really 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 good in this game he's able to make comebacks even if he's getting really beaten down if he's able to land one of these supers and he if he has the skill stock available to him He's able to at least take away two and a half bars a meter. I mean, a health easily to bring him back into the game. So Broly is very, very capable of stealing matches. I've done it a lot. <laughs> I've, I've done it where I'm getting beat up, but I'm able to land this attack and I'm able to steal the match. So base Broly is really, really good. Now, once you get to Super, Super Saiyan version of him, he doesn't really have much when it comes to abilities and stuff like that. So just be mindful about that. You're still going to be strong because your average attack does more damage. And then, yeah. And you gain access to a new toolkit in Super Saiyan. And then you could go into a uh, final version of Super Saiyan. The legendary Super Saiyan version. Or whatever you want to call it. Full power Super Saiyan. And he gets even stronger from there. So yeah, these are some of the reasons why Broly is definitely a top five DP pick when it comes to the level five class and Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. So moving on, we're gonna talk about GT Goku and the reasons why he is one of the better DP level five class picks in the game. So let's start off with Key Blast. Got standard key blast. It's pretty good. His standing one's pretty good. His advanced one's pretty good. His retreat one's pretty good as well too. So his key blast on the ground is pretty pretty good. Uh, when it comes to his jumping key blast, his jumping key blast is kind of whatever. Um, his charge key blast is pretty quick and fast. Charge key blast while moving. Same thing, it's really, really fast. Same thing in the air, it's really, really fast. So that's pretty, pretty good. When it comes to damage, he does the same damage as Trunks and Broly in base. And he also has the option to transform to get even stronger with Super Saiyan 1, 3, and Super Saiyan 4. So that's really, really good. And every version of his Super Saiyan got some type of ability that's pretty, pretty good good besides probably Super Saiyan 1. Moving on from there, when it comes to his abilities, base GT Goku abilities, he has a Solar Flare, which is always really, really good. It gives you time to do whatever you want. You could charge up, whatever like that, try to surprise your opponent from the back and whatever from there. Um, he has At The Image Strike, and we all know about At The Image Strike, how broken At The Image Strike is. 
I don't know why I won't let me do it. I think I did do it. But, yeah, at the end of strike, it's pretty, pretty broken. It lasts for 15 seconds. It's always annoying to deal with. Your opponent has to change his play style. If they're very, very aggressive, this makes them change their play style. And, yeah, at the end of strike is a very good ability, if not one of the best abilities in the game. Uh, he has a command maya, but it's on the slower side. So, you wouldn't really use this unless it's at the end of a combo. He also has a rush attack, which is really, really good. It does good damage. Uh, it tests your opponent reactions if you're using a neutral. Because they, if they're in a situation where they um, at a disadvantage, like if they get hit with a combo and they on the ground, they have to vanish. And if they can't vanish, they will get hit by that. So that's, that's really, really good that he has a rush attack. When it comes to his chain attacks, he has an overhead, he has a gut punch, he has a little key wave or uh, key pressure attack, and he has another overhead. So he has two overhead in his combo, a gut punch, and a key wave, wind pressure attack, whatever you want to call it. That's good for like interruption and so on and so forth. He also has, when it comes to the side steps, he got his side step attack is a overhead and it don't have the best range as you can see so that's the one thing he's kind of lacking in when it comes to this but it's still overhead so it puts your opponent on they have to block high whenever a side step happens they can't just regular block they have to block high so and you can switch that up with the trip so that's really real good Speaking of the trip, the trip has a lot of range, so that's pretty, pretty good as well. For his perception, he has a gut punch. You can use that to get to your opponent's back and do whatever you want from there, so that's really, really good. And what makes this Goku really, really strong is when he's in sparking, he has an unblockable spirit bomb. Every single spirit bomb in this game was unblockable, just to let you know. But your opponent has to vanish out the way of that. If they don't, they will get hit. And he does a lot of damage. So, yeah. Those are the reasons why GT Goku is one of the top level 5 DP class picks in the game. So, now we're going to talk about another top level 5 dp class pick which is android 16 honestly all three of the androids 18 17 and 16 are pretty good but i believe 16 is the best one for these reasons right so 16 has an explosive wave just like the androids have an android barrier he has an explosive wave so if he didn't have the explosive wave, then he probably wouldn't be better. But so he has the explosive wave, that's that's really, really good. And he could buff himself and get more damage and defense with the pump up. All right. Uh, when it comes to key blast, pretty good key blast. Pretty, pretty good advancing key blast. Okay, retreating key blast. Jumping key blast is all right. His charge key blast is okay. Nothing too crazy. His charge moving one is okay. His jumping charge is okay as well. So only his standard key blast is really, really good. His charge ones is, is, is kind of high. When you charge it a little bit, it's pretty quick though. But full charge, either way, it's pretty quick. Regardless, it's pretty quick. Moving on from there, the only thing, the downside to the androids is that they can't recover a key themselves. They can't charge up the key themselves. But let's just say if you're attacking, right? And the opponent's getting hit, your key recovers while the opponent, it recovers faster when the opponent is getting hit in the combo. So they're good for aggression. So if you don't like to charge up, you don't got time to charge up. Most nine times out of ten, you always have key because if you're a type of combo character, 
If your if your play style is more about combos, you have key. All right. Another thing is is his damage is the best in the level five class. Android 17 and 18 does way less damage than he does. And they all have the same functions, functions, but he does way more damage to them. He does the most damage in the level five DP class. So that's really, really good. He got the long animation grab. But what really, really makes him good is this. He has an unblockable super with the hell flash, All right? So the only downside to this is that you can't be too far from your opponent, but if you're up close, this will hit and it's unblockable. And it does pretty good damage, so that's good. He also has an unblockable ultimate as well, but that's more like a suicide attempt. Basically, if you hit your opponent with that move, your your health is going to be very, very low, but it's also going to kill your opponent. So you could use it as a last resort type of thing if you're ever in that type of situation. His other super is his health flash, which is really, really quick and does really, really decent damage. So that's really, really good. Now, when it comes to his rush attacks and rush chains, he got one hit to a gut punch. Two hits into a rolling hammer. Three hits into this key push attack. This get off me move. And then he has another rolling hammer at the end of the rush chain with four hits into the key blast attack. So he has pretty good um you uh, utilities when it comes to his rush chains and rush rush attacks. Him having the gut punch. And the rolling hammer early in his combo to get to your back is really, really good. Side steps. He has a rolling hammer as a side step, which is really, really good. The sweep. It don't cover a lot of range compared to other characters. Even if you charge it. If you charge it, it covers more range, but you have to really, really charge. So his sweep is high from side step. And then we have his lift, which don't have that much range as well. So his range from his sidestep attacks is not the greatest. But if you're up close, it's going to get the job done. And as far as perception, he has a gut punch as well. He has a gut punch as well for his perception. So that's really, really good. Any character with a gut punch perception is always good. It's always a good character. It changes the dynamic of the fight. They can do stuff like this. And get you a decent amount of damage. So yeah, this is the reasons why I feel like Android 16 is one of the better level 5 DP picks in the game. So next up, we have Zamasu. And Zamasu, to me, is up there as well as the top tier DP level 5 class characters for these specific reasons. So first, we're going to talk about abilities. So he has the after image strike. Which is really, really good. You already know what Athena Strike does. And he has a mortal body. So, mortal body gives him back health. Now, of course, four health bars to do. I mean, skill counts to do so. But I'm going to showcase how much health he gets back off of it. So, I have about a bar and a half. A little, little bit less than a bar and a half gone. And we're going to see how much he recovers back. So, he recovered back about... Let's just say about 75% of his health back, pretty much. He gains about 75% of his health. It's not the, the greatest, but it, it's still good. It's some type of way to regain back some health back. So that's pretty, pretty good. 
So with that being said, he has the ability to get some type of health back, even though it takes away four bars for only 75% health. That is kind of a lot, but he has some way to get some health back. So if he needs to, he get held back like that. He also has to add the image strike to play defensive. So he's he can play very, very defensive and hit and run style with these two type of techniques. When it comes to his supers, his key blast super is really, really fast and it puts them in a down state. So that's really, really good. Also, he has a rush attack as well. And a rush attack does a lot of damage. Really, really good damage for a rush attack. 10k for a rush attack, really, really good. He also does above average damage. He has the second highest damage when it comes to the level five DP class characters with 6,100, so that's really, really good. Only Andrew, Broly doesn't even do more damage than that. Only Andrew 16 does more damage, so that's pretty, pretty good. When it comes to his sidestep attacks, he has a gut punch, which is always good. It doesn't have a lot of range compared to like Broly. Broly has more range on his sidestep attack, but it's still pretty, pretty good. His sidestep sweep got some type of range on it. Not the best range, but it's still some type of range. And his sidestep lift got some range on it too. So that's really, really good. When it comes to his rush chains and rush attacks, he got one hit into an overhead, two hit into a roller hammer, which is really, really good. Three hit into a gut punch. And then four hits into the key cannon. So those are really, really good rush chains. He has the ability to get stronger via transformation only, well, fusion, only if you have Goku Black on your team. And Goku Black is another decent uh, level five DP class character. Goku Black is kind of up there as well as a DP class character, and we're going to talk more about Goku Black later as another honorable mention. But if you have Goku Black on your team, then you have the option to get stronger, so that's really, really good. When it comes to Key Blast, his advancing Key Blast is really, really good. His cheating Key Blast is pretty good. His standard Key Blast is pretty good. His jumping key blast is kind of eh. His jumping charge key blast is pretty good. His moving charge key blast is pretty, pretty good because you can follow behind this. So that's really, really good. So if you're in a situation like this, you're moving and follow right behind it, that's really, really good. And the main key blast that you're going to be wanting to use in the situations it's because this key blast is unblockable. It's his charge standing key blast. Charge standing key blast is good. You could charge for a little bit and it still hits. You can charge fully and knocks him back even more. One downside to Zamatsu is that his perception is just this get off me move. It's not the gut punch. If he had the gut punch, he'd be really OD. But he does have a follow up doesn't have the follow-up attack right there but that follow-up attack can be blocked so that is the one downside is that he doesn't have a good he just have like the regular perception which can be good in certain situations but you rather have the gut punch because the gut punch could start off a combo for you so yeah that's the only downside when it comes to Zamasu is that he has a weaker perception than the other characters in the top five and yeah those are all the reasons why i feel like zamatsu should be a top tier character in the level five dp class now he could be switched out for other characters like one of the gokus or so on and so forth but he does have pretty good tools and he does a lot of damage 
and this that's the reason why I feel like he makes it in the top five. And here are a couple other of uh, sleeper picks that could be worthy of being top level five DP characters. Goku Black is worthy of being a top level five DP character because he has unblockable regular super attack, which is really really good. The standard damage he does like the same damage as like um trunks and broly does and he has a transformation and he has a wild sense as well so those are really really good um i don't know these character names ruby i don't know these character names i ain't watch super like that but the fat one <laughs> uh she has an unblockable skill and she has an unblockable super which is pretty pretty good and she does pretty decent damage as well i think she does standard damage as well same thing with this one uh she's pretty fast and she has an unblockable uh, rush attack. So these are other reasons why these characters could be up there as well. These are sleeper picks. They not really be honorable. These they just sleeper picks. Goku Black is definitely an honorable mention, but these two are just sleeper picks. Like if you tie to picking the same characters, you could pick these two picks, and they pretty strong characters as well. Pretty much the end of the road for this video. Hopefully you was able to enjoy this video and you learned something new. And if you did enjoy the video and learn something new, please smash the like button. I greatly appreciate it. Helps the channel out a lot. Support, support, support. Also, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content, check out some of my other content. I have tons of content for you to enjoy. A lot of fighting game content, more Dragon Ball Spark and Zero content. I have Bleach Rebirth of Souls content as well and other stuff as well. So stay tuned for the next video. I might be doing level fours next or level sixes one of those two but stay tuned for the next dp class tier list video hopefully you was able to enjoy the video and hopefully you able to enjoy the rest of your day god bless peace